How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Know Your Weak Spots. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing the Chieftain. This should be interesting. So, the Chieftain. Mm, yes, we love Chieftain, don't we? Um, yeah, this thing... Let's be, let's be completely honest, straight off the bat here. It is broken and overpowered. Like, Clan Wars reward tanks were kind of... A novelty kind of feature like none of them were super overpowered the 907 used to be overpowered and then power creep caught up to it and now a 140 is almost as good as a 907 um it's just a good tank the 907 now it's not overpowered in any way or at least in my opinion it's not um and the e6 has a cupola like the vkk um has you know the side scraping problems um and you know it's none of the tanks are super overpowered um especially the caro which is the newest one that's introduced now obviously without going into too much of a rant about you know the chieftain is now not available for clan wars and clan wars is pr primarily dominated by the chieftain 279 and whatnot um you can no longer get this at the moment at least by the looks of things um the last two campaigns, the Chief has not been in there. Um, so you're not going to meet too many of these. However, in Clan Wars, you'll meet them all the time if you're in, if you're against a top clan, because that's all that Clan Wars is. So that's one out of the way. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. The uh, the Chief. Where do we even begin? Well, let's take a look at the visual... Uh, sorry, not the visual, the live model. And uh, you'll just see how broken it actually is. So that we're all clear, the Chief gets the best standard penetration of any heavy tank at tier 10 it gets 270 penetration and as you can see it's not enough to go through a turret at all anywhere it's just not going to do it um you can pen the cupola but look how small that cupola is um if we zoom all the way in that's like that's a joke of a cupola uh, it really is like half of it is just going to be an instant ricochet um, because you go a little bit too high ricochet off of it now if you do load APCR with the premium APCR both of them are APCR um, it starts to look a little bit better but I mean if it's hold down like this and all you're going to see is the, the top of the turret I'll put like a, a black uh, uh, bar along uh, to like show you you're just not going to pen it like, it's not really enough. Like, there is a slim 50-50, well, you know, 46% chance you're going to go through it. Um, yeah. However, when the Chief is not hold down, and it's in the open, you can pretty much pen it semi-reliably um, in the upper hole here, um, and especially in the lower plate. The lower plate, you can easily pen this thing. Um, as long as you're not a tier 8, uh, that's shooting standard rounds uh, because at that point it's then actually a 50 50 and if it's angling a little bit yeah if you're a tier 8 a premium tank you know you're just trying to grind some credits standard rounds are not actually going to be cutting it unless you have decent uh, penetration like a love or something like that um so yeah if you are taller than it though you can just shoot straight through the upper hole um, the upper hole is quite easy to pen, especially in tier 10. Um, because the Chief is quite low profile as well, it's not a tall tank. Um, if you're in something like an E100, you're going to be about up to here. So you can easily go through this thing um, if it's coming towards you uh, and you're coming up to it. Like, easily, even with standard rounds. So speaking about normal tier 10 let's go and actually have a look at the 430u which i'll show you in a second in game um about the uh, kind of the standard rounds and you know how it actually performs in reality uh let's go to russia we'll go to there yes so this is a this is the 430u um with 252 pen against a chief as you can see it's around about a 60% chance to go through the upper hole. So more times than not, albeit it is, you know, RNG based, so you are going to pen this. Um, and you're probably a little bit taller than it. Not a lot, though. Like, you're probably just about there on a chief. So, yeah, about a 60% chance of you going through that. Um, do not bother shooting this. Again, as you'll see in the thing, 
it just doesn't work. Um, but lower plate, you can go straight through it. Now, if you're using 340 heat, this thing becomes a bit more manageable. It is not an easy thing to pen, even with 340 heat. Uh, the, the Coppola does get a little bit easier to pen um, because it, do it ignores like the weird angles and whatnot. So you, with APCR and AP, you'll see how at the top here, it will just ricochet off. But with heat, because it doesn't care about kind of the angle of the armor that it's hitting, um, or at least to a certain degree, um, it will just pen it. So at least the Coppola is slightly bigger with heat rounds. Um, but slightly bigger, it's still tiny, okay? Like, <laughs> look at it. If you're shooting at it from further away, good luck hitting that. However, you can go here and you can pen it. It has a very slim chance of you doing that. Um, but you can go underneath the gun. Um, again, slim chance. But when it's actually above you, using gun depression, you will be able to actually shoot underneath here and you get about a 60% chance of actually going through, as long as you hit the correct spots. Um, so besides the guns are actually fairly weak. I say weak. You're going to need at least 340 heat uh, to go through it. Like, or, you know, around that pen. So let's take a look at the E3, for example. As you can see, it does have an overmatch spot. This is 100% overmatchable, um, as it is about 152, like 0.4 or something like that. Um, so if you have over 152 guns, so 153 plus, obviously the E3 has 155, it means that you can overmatch this straight away. And given that it's about an 80% chance, you can just fire standard rounds right at a chief. And even if he's, you know, like this on you, if you hit that, you're going to pen because it's the overmatch mechanic. You're just going to go straight through it. So that means even if he is right above you using all of his gun depression, let's say, so he's like this, if you manage to hit here, you will pen. Although that is a very, very slim chance for you to pen. And as you can see, yes, there is a chance, about a 60% chance here, even with 300 pen around the cheeks. However, you fire APCR in this thing, becomes quite manageable. Um, yeah, like... You're looking at about a 50 to 60% chance to all the way up to like 80, 95% chance around here. So you're going to pen this a lot of times. Um, you will need to be careful of not hitting the gun because it will just get absorbed. Um, but around here, pretty much if you're going to fire APCR, just aim for here if he's hold down like this. And you go straight through it. Like, there's going to be, there's no question about it. You will go straight through it. Um... Also, if he is head on to you, um, like this, you can go and pen here. You get a 61% chance here um, because you do have 375 premium pen. And you can pen above the gun, but even then it's like a 50-50. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Instead, just go for the cheeks. Um, there are a few spots that you won't be able to pen um, because they are a lot thicker than the rest. Um, but yeah, with an E3, if you can't hit this plate here, because he's hold down, then either go for the cheeks or go to the left here. But realistically, you're just going to have to hope and pray that you do hit a weak spot. Like, there are plenty of little tiny pixels in the weak spots um, for weak spots along the turret, as you can see. But I speak more about that in the actual um, kind of gameplay footage of it. So that should be fine. But I didn't actually know at the time that this was an overmatch. Um, because I recorded all of these um, videos like before I'm recording this. So I recorded the gameplay and stuff like that before uh, everything else because people have clan wars and stuff. Um, so I didn't know about this. I didn't know that this was overmatchable. So even if you just fire an AP, just aim for the upper hole and hope that you hit that and then you'll pen it. Yeah, the Chief is not very good when it's not holed out. Um, against an E3 at least. Uh, against, you know, other, like, tier 8s, then yeah, it's a bit of a problem, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, this is, this thing's weird, because you also can, can side scrape in the Chief, like, and there's no real weak spots, because if you go for the tracks, you're not going to hit anything behind that. Um, like, even with, you know, all this premium round pen, that is not 
a good pen chance, like 50-50, you're never going to go through that, probably. Um, and even though the, on the visual model, it looks like there's loads of stuff here, if we actually look at the live model, there is nothing here. So don't bother him for the tracks. It doesn't exist. Like, this doesn't exist. Um, it is only this bit of the Chief that you can actually hear. Anyway, let us go into the, the live games, because it does go into more detail, and you'll see exactly what I mean with uh, some of these pen values. Ah, actually, one thing before I leave. Um, get pen zero and 100 heat. Just go straight through it. Right. Like... Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so here we are in game. Now, we've got the chief. Uh, I've got Alex, one of my mods, to come and help me out. And, uh, yeah, like... 430U, right? It's, it's like the baseline of kind of a, a normal tier 10 gun, I would say. You get the base, like, 250-ish pen uh, with the AP rounds, and you get the 340 heat. And then around about 70, 60 pen, you know, on the... Uh, uh, the HE rounds. As you can see, with 250 pen, you're not really going to do much against the turret, are you? Um, yeah, like, you're just not. Like, it doesn't have the turret ring like some of the other tanks do. Um, you can pen the the upper hull armor, but even then, like, you can see here, it's not a true, like, green pen marker. See, if we go down to the lower plate, all of it's green. Like, this is like a 50-50. And if you go higher up, these little kind of uh, periscopes are not like weak spots or anything like that. So you're not going to be penning that too easily. Um, that being said, lower plate, yes, you can pen it. Um, like every single time, pretty much. As we know, the lower plate isn't weak, but it is still, you know, it's, it's going to be hard for you to pen it. Um, if you are tier 8 or something like that, firing standard rounds at least. Um, you might bounce off randomly. Uh, there are no real weak spots, as you can see, even even when you're kind of over-angling the turret. There's just nothing you're going to do. And the only real thing that you can do to a chief, if it's hold down, is to pen the Capola. Now, the Capola is going to be kind of hard for you to actually hit, because even if you are super up close, it's still going to be sometimes just a bounce. Um, because if you go a little bit down, or you go a little bit too far right, as you can see here, this isn't actually a, like, this little, whatever this is, I guess it's the hinge or whatever, um, that isn't the model. So, if you go too far right, you're not going to pen it. And the same thing for too far left, um, and as you get further and further away, it becomes harder and harder to hit. Um... Of course, Russian accuracy. Um, however, if you load gold, the things don't really change too much. Um, there is a, like, 10% chance that you're going to go through this, right? But even with 340 heat, don't bother with it. You're just not going it's, to... It's just not worth it. You can also pen around here, as we've shown in the armor layout. Um, it is possible, but... It's not reliable enough for you to be able to do it. And you can only really do it when you're super up close to the tank. Um, so, yeah. Now for a fun section called, can it be penned up the arse? And yes, it can. Be penned up the arse with HE, that is about 60, 70 pen. Um, so, yeah, you can even pen it in the back of the turret with HE as well. Okay, so now we're in the E3. And uh, the same thing applies. This tank, if it's hold down, especially if it's using gun depression, is not going to be... You're just not really going to pen it, let's be honest. Like, at least with the E3, with the standard rounds, uh, 295 pen, uh, 375 premium rounds, um, as I've said a million times, you might as well just be firing the premium rounds if you can afford it. And then it does have good HE rounds as well. Um, the problem with this tank is... One, it just doesn't have any weak spots like, wow, look, there's a tiny pixel and a tiny pixel around here. It's just not going to make any difference. Um, and yes, the Capola. Even with, let's say we fire APCR. Now, with APCR, everywhere is more of a 50-50 to 40% chance um, and stuff like that. The 
you, you can just pen it anywhere in the whole armor, but um, even at this kind of extreme angle like this. Now, let's say that a chief is face hugging you. Um, as you can see here, this is where I just shot last time. Um, it's a bounce, right? You're not going to be able to really pen it there. It's about a 30-ish, 30-40% chance. Um, you can pen it here, but it's, it's not worth it. If you are going to get this close to a chief, though, and you are using very, very high premium rounds, you can pen it here. It's not really the easiest of shots, and it's around about 50-50 even then, 50-60%, um, even with, like, really good premium rounds. Um, it's not... The problem is... You get this close to a chief, he's going to be moving around his turret and all of that and, you know, making life really, really hard for you. You're not always going to hit that. And if you go a little bit left, you miss and you don't pen. So as much as, yeah, this spot's great, you know, you can pen it nearly every time, 50-60% chance. Um, it's not super easy. Okay, so what if a chief is hold down doing this to you? Well, if you're in an E3... I mean, 300 pen, roughly, you can pen it around here. Again, it's not super, super easy. And that one went a little bit too low, but RNG, right? So yeah, sometimes you'll be able to pen it, but other times you just won't. Um, don't bother going for the Capola. You can hit it, but half the time you're going to hit something else on the way there um, like the periscope and you just get critical damage just like that or more times than not you're just going to miss so yes you can hit it i hate making these videos sometimes you just try and show something and it just does the exact opposite right <laughs> yes you can hit it but let's be honest if he's in a real game environment uh, he's going to be moving the turret going backwards and forwards really making the life your life really annoying um, there is a zero point of going for the upper hole because you're not going to pen it at that angle um, if you're using APCR though things go a little bit differently so here it is with APCR as you can see we have a green pen marker right there um, so 370 pen is going to be more than enough to go through a chief if he's using gun depression looking down on you uh, because these cheeks become weaker as you can see on the other side this is also a green pen marker so yes if he stays still long enough for you to shoot back at it um, you will be able to shoot it and do some damage you can also pen underneath the gun here a lot of it is green um, yeah basically if you're in an e3 and a, and a chief is looking down on you just spam apc it and you should be getting a kill or getting a penetrating hit okay so i showed you what it was like with 300 pen and then 375 pen what is it like with 250 pen and then 340 heat now, 340 heat's not going to be too dissimilar from uh, obviously high pen apcr and stuff like that but even with 250 pen it's a, like you can almost do it it's almost good. Um, there are no green spots that you can hit, obviously. Um, and even, you know, like here, you're not really going to be able to hit it. There is like that one in maybe 10 shot that will pen it with standard rounds. Maybe. But you're going to have to get lucky with it. Um, if you are facing one of these, I mean, let's be honest. If you're facing a chief, unless it's on completely flat ground... You should be firing AP, uh, APCR or heat at it, right? So with heat, yes, things come, you know, green pen marker. You can pen it right there. Um, you can't pen this. Now, the reason why you can't pen the gun is because heat doesn't go through uh, spaced armor and stuff like that. APCR will. So there is a tiny slot here. But let's be honest, especially if they're moving, that's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, you're not going to get those super duper, like, easy pens, um, but it's still possible. See what I mean? Like, a little bit of RNG, and you're just going to end up missing. Um, but the cheeks, of course, you can pen, he says, as it goes a little bit high. RNG, not much you can do about it. But a chief against APCR is very, very 
Not not weak, right? Because this thing is not weak. Like this this tank is completely broken. Um and the problem is that if you're in something like a 430U, the chance of you actually penning it in this situation right here is super low, even with heat. Um, there is nowhere that it, you can reliably hit it all the time. Like, there's no weak spot that you can barely hit the cupola, um, for example. Like, there's nowhere that you can reliably pen it. Uh, you can't pen the upper hole. If you're in an E3, of course, I've shown you. Like, yeah. Um, and Chief v Chief can work and you can pen it semi-reliably um, but it's just not it's not one of those things that is a guaranteed pen every single time um, it's not like the 279 where if you're taller than it um, you'll be able to hit it and just do a lot of damage you need kind of APCR to really work this situation here um, and really take advantage of it all um, other than that just go for the weak spot here and hope that you hit it, I guess. So that is the Chieftain weak spot guide. Uh, as you know, there isn't really much in the way of weak spots for the Chief. Um, it is broken. It is overpowered. No one can deny that. I know. Um, but I've gone through it as much as I can and much information I can give you um, to hopefully you can, you know, deal with them better or have the knowledge of what their armor layout actually is. Um, and yeah. Maybe they're a little bit less annoying for you, hopefully. Either way, let me know in the comments down below what tank you would like to see next on the Weak Spot Guide. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video as well.